Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, hope you're having a great day. It's Saturday. There's some football going on, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are watching that instead of watching me here. But I have an update for you guys on the Hive blockchain. They posted an update uh, just recently, last night. So Hive blockchain orders 2,292 M30S Plus uh, micro BT high performance Bitcoin miners. Uh, so let's get into it here really quick. So Hive is pleased to announce that it has ordered 2,292 M30S Plus premium micro BT what's miners. Uh, with a total hash rate of 229 petahash per second with an average efficient efficiency of approximately 34 watts per terahash. The company notes that the 229 uh, petahash would generate approximately 52 bitcoins per month based on the current difficulty levels. As we're looking to install these not until next year, at, um, we're basically a year away from it right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, difficulty increases by 50% at least. So them saying 52 is great now, but next year it might be only half of that, it might be like 26 or 36, something like that. Based on the amount of miners that people are installing right now, and not, not including Hive, but also Amara, Riot, Hot 8, everybody and their brother is installing miners. So that's gonna obviously increase the total hash rate for Bitcoin network, which in turn is gonna increase di the difficulty as well. So obviously good news, but we'll have to see what happens obviously next year. It's great news for next year, I think. Uh, so let's take, continue on. Uh, Miner Purchase Hive is proud to continue its relationship with MicroBT through the purchase of the 2,292 uh, M30S Plus miners. These 229 miners will be delivered in six equal tranches of 382 miners during the calendar 2022, commencing in July and ending in December of next year. So obviously we're a year away from this happening. But this will obviously increase their total hash rate along with their possibility for profitability. This will increase our global hash rate by 38.2 pet hash with each delivery uh, per month. Frank Holmes said, uh, we only use green energy sourced from geothermal and hydroelectric to mine our Bitcoins. Thus, we do not need to buy expensive carbon credits, which is good. Uh, this purchase brings the total to 5,292 micro BT miners with a total mining capacity of 523 Petahash announced just this week. Yeah, so it's been a busy week for Hive. They've done a great job, uh, you know, getting more miners in. I would have liked to have seen them getting these installed sooner than a year later. Um, obviously, it is what it is with the market conditions and everything else. Everybody's buying things with the miners. So I'm not surprised that everything's being pushed back almost 12, uh, 12 months. Uh, we will continue our strategy to increase our Bitcoin mining capacity, which includes the sourcing of mining equipment from leading industry manufacturers like MicroBT. Hive intends to continue to utilize cash flow to make opportunistic investments and upgrade our fleet of BTC and e uh, ETH mining equipment on a regular monthly basis. So I think as long as they provide good information as far as uh, any purchase that they have, uh, I'm still not sure what they're going to do with obviously with their Ethereum mining rigs, I think, um, with the update coming up to proof of stake. That's not going to be feasible. Obviously, they're going to have to do something else with those uh, mining equipment they're saying about using computational power and selling it out or renting it out. So we'll see how they're going to make money on that or if they actually switch over to a different coin um, like Ethereum Classic. Uh, let's see, continue on. Biweekly status update. Hive is also announcing that it expects to file its annual. Expects. Well, that's a big key here. Expects. Uh, you know, When they do, we'll be happy about it, but they've been postponing it for the past couple of weeks here their annual financial statements and accompany, accompanying management's discussion and analysis for the financial year ended March 31, 2021. Collectively, the annual filings on or before September 16, 2021. So this is key here. I think the reason the stock has been down a little bit, we're not doing as well as some of the other ones is because they have been kicking the can down the road with their annual filings and not uh, posting those. As a result of the de delayed annual filings, the company will have a delay in filing of its interim financial statements, management discussions and analysis, and the related certifications for the period ended in June 30th. So those are gonna be obviously late as well. So now they're kicking the can down the road on, on these, which have a filing deadline of August 30th, 2021, obviously August passed. So we'll have to see when uh, those come out. But obviously the most important one is the September 16th one. Hopefully they get that on or before and they don't kick the can down the road. Uh, so with the update on these miners, I included in my deep dive here, 
that I use for projection, projecting their possible income. So everything stays the same. Nothing has really changed here. The only thing I've done is added these miners in for next year. Obviously, they're not making anything, so there's no extra income added in for this year as well. And we're still at uh, estimated $222 million for their yearly gross income. And obviously, my projections would be the same as last time with... Uh, you know, we're looking at $5.80 stock, uh, potentially, if Bitcoin stays where it's at right now, uh, going up to 11.61. If Bitcoin 2x is 3x, it would be 17.41, and 4x will be 23.21. So that's where we're at, guys. Uh, obviously, it's good news. Uh, it'll be better news once they actually provide the annual filings. And that should happen this week, hopefully. And if it doesn't, we'll obviously comment on that as well. So that's all I got for you guys. Have a great Saturday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, 